Hey there, this is Dr. Evan Osar with the Institute for Integrative Health and Fitness Education. I want to welcome you to this edition of Integrated Movement Insider. Good morning, happy Monday. Hope you had a great weekend and you're enjoying your summer. I want to tell you real quick that today is the final day to get a brand new resource, Complete Conditioning for the Female Core 2.0. We're super excited about this release because there's so many women that you work with because you work with probably the same clients that we work with, the general population, just women, everyday women that are looking to feel better, to move better, and to accomplish their specific health and fitness goals. And you're looking for a reliable resource to help these individuals accomplish their health and fitness goals in a safe and effective manner. And if you're like us, you probably get often confused with all the information out there, especially the information that's conflicting. Because you go to workshops or you go online and you see a lot of different approaches where somebody's saying, hey, you gotta brace your core. And somebody else is saying, no, you don't have to brace your core. And somebody else is saying, hey, pull your belly button in and tuck your spine down, tuck your glutes in. And so, you, so it's easy to get frustrated, it's easy to get confused by the information that's out there. So what we've done in this resource, Complete Conditioning, for the female core 2.0 is we've taken all the information from the research, from what we've learned from our own mentors, from being 20 years, for having 20 years in the industry and seeing thousands of women with chronic low back pain, chronic hip issues, pain, dysfunction, inability to perform at the levels they need to and want to, and we put it together in this brand new resource, Complete Conditioning for the Female Core 2.0. So you can take your information from where you're at and apply this new concept. And it's really not so new, it's just that not a lot of people are using this information. So I guess it's kind of new. And the great thing about this information is that you can plug it directly into the programs that you're already using with success. Because what we need in this industry isn't more exercises. What we need is a reliable resource and an approach that helps our female clients move better, feel better, and accomplish their health and fitness goals. And as Debbie is watching, she says, I'm one of those women. Your methods have totally worked for me. Thank you so much for reaching out, Debbie. I truly appreciate that. And Debbie is, is one of our patients, and she's like so many women that come to us, because if you're like the majority of us in this industry, you're working with women just like Debbie. Woman, professional woman, very ambitious, has specific goals she wants to achieve. She wants to play with her brand new grandchild. Actually, he's, he's a little over a year, so he's not brand new, but her young grandchild. She wants to play with him, get down on the floor, lift him up, experience all the great things of being a grandmother. But she struggled with chronic low back issues, chronic hip tightness, issues related to her core. And one of the things that I actually learned from Debbie, Debbie really taught me a valuable lesson, and one of the things that we are very big about is learning from our client education or learning from our client experience. And one of the things that when Debbie first came in and saw me, she had chronic hip tightness. And as I evaluated Debbie, she was stuck in the posterior pelvic tilt and had a lot of bracing through her core, her, through her abdominal wall. <clears throat> so one of the things I shared with Debbie was, Debbie, you need to re relax your abs, let your hips go so that you can get your pelvis to kind of relax so that you can move more effectively into those patterns that you need to do, squatting, lunging, bending. And she went home, she's very thoughtful and very into learning and being proactive about her approach. And when she came back the next session, she said, she said it's interesting you say that because I remember when I first had my child, and I had C-section, and obviously as a new mom, you have to get right back to being probably the most active you'll ever be in your life. You got a brand new mom, you're a brand new mom, you just had a baby, and now you have to lift and carry and feed and care for this child, and you're doing that on lack of sleep. And one of the issues for individuals that have had a C-section like Debbie did, is they're going to have weakness, inhibition, muscle inhibition, really that's where the weakness is about. It's not just that the muscles are weak, they're inhibited because of the surgery, cutting through the muscles, cutting through the fascia, and the trauma of the surgery. And one of the strategies that Debbie developed because she had low back pain right when, right after the delivery was she started to pull her abs in and squeeze her butt because that helped her feel better and get around some of the discomfort and some of that sort of that weak abdominal wall feeling, that sort of disconnection that she felt and a lot of new moms feel, especially the ones with C-sections. So she was stuck in this strategy of gripping her abs and squeezing her butt, stuck in posterior pelvic tilt with lumbar spine flexion, which over time 
So now when Debbie first presented to us, she was 60 years of age, over time she created the situation that now she actually wore out her hip. Because what happens is the more you grip with your abdominal wall and go into post your pelvic tilt and grip with your hips, you jam the femoral head forward and you have to tab them and then you start to grind down. And that's one of the big concepts that we talk about and share in our workshops and in our previous product that we released on the hip. However, in this product, we share with you strategies. And what's really exciting about this product project is Sarah Fisher also shares a very similar story after her C-section. Sarah Fisher was a young mom as well. She had a C-section, she was a professional dancer, so she really knew about her body and how to move her body. And she shares also very similar stories about how her body changed dramatically, migraines, GI issues, low back tightness, hip issues after her C-section. So you need a strategy to really help these women who've had surgeries around the abdominal wall, the back, the pelvic floor, the GI system. And Janice goes into a lot in this product on how to specifically address women who've had these surgeries, how they impact the core and how women are functioning, and then more specifically, what do you do about training the core? How does core training change? And what are the proactive things that you can use right away once you watch this product and invest yourself in this information and share it with your clients that you can see dramatic changes in how they function, like Debbie saw, like Sarah saw when she started using this approach, and that Janice shared with her story of her client Jenny, who also had, was a failed low back surgery, I should say, chronic low back pain, chronic pain down into her groin, was oftentimes stuck on the floor or in bed with chronic pain. And Janice taught her some very simple strategies that we'll share with you in complete conditioning of the female core 2.0 that you can use right away with your clients. And that's what's great about this product is we put all this information into one product. And that's why we call it complete conditioning because we wanted you to have a complete resource. So when you invest in the product, you get this quick start guide. So it basically shows you exactly what you're going to learn in the program and it gives you an outline of everything you're going to learn. So you see exactly how the program is set up and how it can benefit your clients. Then we'll show you the seven key principles to training the female core and why training the female core is different than training the male core. So that way, as we move into the five simple assessments, you understand what we're looking for and what you'll evaluate for in your clients when you're using these assessments. Very easy assessments, and you'll pick up a lot of things just from these simple, easy assessments that take no more than five minutes once you get really good and proficient in this process. Then from the information that you learn in your assessments. So essentially, what you're looking for in your assessments is your client's non-optimal and inefficient posture and movement habits the things that are directly creating your client's tightness, discomfort, weakness, and inability to perform at the level she needs and or wants. Because then in our next bonus item that you'll receive when you invest is you'll receive the seven key corrective exercise principles. And corrective exercise is just that. It's it's how you use this information, the principles, apply the principles of the integrated movement system, alignment, breathing, and control, to help your clients strategically improve and adopt more optimal and efficient posture and movement habits. So we share with you the seven principles, the five assessments to identify your client's non-optimal and inefficient posture and movement habits that are contributing to her issues and why she can't perform at the level she needs or wants, and then the seven key corrective exercise patterns that help your client develop her most optimal and her most efficient strategy so she can do those things that she needs to, wants to, and even return back to the things she loves to do. And then finally, because sometimes for many of your clients, it's not just about teaching them what to do, the things they need to activate, the patterns they need to do to accomplish their health and fitness goals. For many of our clients, it's about stopping some of those strategies that we've all learned, many of our clients have learned, that are directly contributing to why your clients have chronic tightness and or discomfort and or chronic weaknesses and inability to perform at the levels they need or want. So we share with you the seven strategies that you either need to avoid and or modify. We show you how to modify common patterns like the bridge and the bridge which is often referred to as the hip thruster when it's done on a bench or with heavy weight because the patterns like the bridge pattern that we'll demonstrate in this bonus section, the last bonus section, is a key reason why your client continues to have low back issues and or 
issues with a hip, which also then relates to how she's using her core. So we'll share with you how do you modify your exercises and what exercises do you maybe need to avoid temporarily or permanently with your clients, your female clients, especially the ones with chronic tightness, discomfort, and or weakness, especially those women that have distended abdomens who are chronically gripping to pull their abs in and stop some of the abdominal distension. And then finally, you also receive complete program design. We'll share with you how you use the information that you're learning in this program and put it into the programs that you're already using with success. So you know specifically how to use this information and apply it to your clients and create programs that truly help your clients feel better, move better, and accomplish their health and fitness goals. So you get the entire program, the four modules of information, and also, we teach you not only about the core, but how to strategically, strategically tie in the psoas and glutes. Because the psoas and glutes are part, the psoas specifically is part of your deep myofascial system of the core. And if so many of our clients have been told they have a tight, short psoas, that's causing their low back pain. And that's just not true. So we share with you how the psoas works, how it works in conjunction and synergistically with the glutes, how they work together to provide more optimal core stability, and more optimal hip strength and mobility. So you get this entire, the entire program, the four modules of information over four hours of content. Then you get this, the five bonuses. You get the seven key principles, the five simple assessments that you can use right away with your clients, the seven key corrective exercise patterns, the seven patterns you need to either modify and or avoid with your clients that have issues, and then the program design manual. And as a special bonus, we'll throw in two webinars. One with Janice and Sarah, where they share with you the techniques and talk about the female menstrual cycle and how training the core needs to change slightly when your clients have the female have their cycle and how the cycle impacts so many things like chronic tightness or discomfort or inability to activate the core and even relates to things like ACL injuries because a lot of our clients will generally get injured or feel more vulnerable and, and have more vulnerability around their menstrual cycle. So we'll share with you strategies, they'll share with you strategies on how to address the female core and then You'll have another special bonus with me once you've webinar with me, once you've had a time to evaluate the program and work your way through the program, I'll answer any questions that you have, as well as checking into the more advanced level progression. So you take the information on how to train the fundamental core patterns, we'll introduce some more advanced patterns that you do with your high level clients based upon the strategy that you're learning through this program. So this is well over $500 worth of value and for today only, we're closing it down tonight. You get all this information, all the content, the strategies, the techniques to improve your skill set, to attract more individuals that need, want, and will pay for your expertise for $97. That special ends tonight. Tomorrow the price is going up. So if you want to be that specialist that your clients need and want and to attract more women that need, want, and will pay you for your expertise, take advantage of this program, invest in yourself, invest in your clients, help more women, transform the lives of more women so that way you can be the go-to resource in your area and be able to charge more for your services because you've helped so many women achieve their health and fitness goals. This is Dr. Evan Osar. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you if you're watching and you've already purchased a product. We look forward to seeing you inside complete conditioning for the female core 2.0 make it a great day and continue to do the things to help your female clients achieve their health and fitness goals